It seems as though Yellowstone cannot escape scandals. However, the most recent scandal that has engulfed the popular television show is beyond our comprehension and feels a little bit too much for us to handle. If you've been online in the past few months, you probably heard about Kevin Costner's departure from Yellowstone, which led to the show's abrupt end. Although this is old news at this point, it became clear that Costner was also going through a divorce just as we were just coming to terms with it. This made matters even more intriguing. This was additionally surprising since it felt overpowering to imagine that an unbelievable entertainer like Coster is carrying on with such significant life-altering events thusly. However, at that point, the outrage that is generally surprising of all rose to the top and proposed that there are substantially more layers to the continuous Coster adventure than we know. On the Yellowstone set, it is alleged that Costner had an affair with a crew member, which unavoidably led to his divorce and even influenced his decision to leave the show. However, was this guarantee valid? Or was it simply an attempt to further muddy the waters and harm Coster's acting reputation? Fortunately, we have the solution for you. So moving along, how about we make a plunge? We do not believe that Kevin Costa needs to be introduced at this point because he is already well known to a large number of people, particularly Yellowstone fans. Nonetheless, it very well may be essential to investigate 68 years of age entertainers' very own life apiece so we can comprehend the ongoing improvements better. So far, Costner has been married twice. He married Cindy Silva in 1978, but they divorced in 1994. She was his first wife. His subsequent spouse was Christine Baumgardner, whom he wedded in 2004 and presently is getting a separation with. The actor has a total of seven kids. He has three children, Annie, Lily, and Joe, with Cindy Silva, his first wife. With his subsequent spouse, Christine Baumgardner, he has three children named Caden Hayes and Elegance. Additionally, he has a son by previous relationships named Liam. So Custer has an exceptionally huge family and appears to partake in his life. Indeed, essentially it appeared to be that way for some time. The separation news was a stunner in any event for Custer, truth be told. Tim has previously reported that when his wife filed for divorce, he was taken aback. His representative clarified that he was not responsible for the decision to end their 18-year marriage. Notably, Kevin was unaware of Christine's intention to dissolve their marriage before she filed for divorce, and he is still unaware of the reasons behind her filing. Despite sources indicating that Kevin had no indication that their marriage was ending, Christine listed the date of separation in her divorce papers as last month. This raises questions regarding the event's timing. All things considered, only half a month prior, the couple observed Custer's brilliant glove win together, with Custer transparently saying thanks to his significant other for her help and love. Chris and I, we couldn't come to the brilliant glove. Despite sources indicating that Kevin had no indication that their marriage was ending, Christine listed the date of separation in her divorce papers as April. Consequently, we trust Custer when he guarantees that he was unaware of his significant other's separation plans, which is very miserable to try and ponder not to mention going through it as an individual of note. Coster has filed a legal response to the divorce petition that makes reference to a production agreement that says Christine must leave Kevin's three homes. The couple is likewise looking for joint care of their children. As though these improvements were adequately not, shocking bits of gossip arose about the pregnancy claims, putting Costner under bad spotlight. As a respectful actor, Costner did what was expected and pretended not to have heard about the rumors. However, Sources close to him denied all of the claims, saying that the rumors are complete nonsense. We, to be honest, believe these rumors. It has the impression that a covert effort to discredit Coster's reputation has been going on for some time. Do you recall the time Coster was held accountable for refusing to attend the Yellowstone filming for more than a week? His lawyer stated at the time that these were all absurd rumors in response to those claims. But there is a pattern to this. It appears that some people want to portray Coster as the evil one. We don't know who they are or what their objective is. And let's be real, we don't want to falsely accuse anyone. However, it would not be unreasonable to assume that all of these are related to Coster's desire to visit Yellowstone and maybe an effort to retaliate against him for his decision to